All right, it's recording the whole screen. And at this point in time, I'm going to turn on Mathematic. I'm going to turn on Audacity and check whether it is recording. It is both recording. They are both recording. We're going to see how this goes. All right. I've mentioned before how what Mathematica does. So we've got a lot going on on the screen, but let's just see how Mathematica will work. I'm going to do a little typing here. Let's remember that the u vector is equal to, and we're going to open up vectors with that list there. Let's say it is 4, 5, 0. That's the u vector. We're going to continue on before we, we hit enter, control enter. I'm going to say the v vector is equal to, in this case, maybe it was 70, 70, 0. Close the right parentheses there. And I might say the a vector was equal to, in this case, maybe it was 10, 0, 0. And in fact, maybe the b vector was equal to, uh, perhaps it was, um, let's see, minus 10, 50 in the y, which is not the correct number. And let's just, uh, what, we can do all those things together. And we can take, now we can say w equals cross open bracket, I believe u comma v close bracket and I can say x equals cross open bracket a comma b and then I can say y equals x plus w and I can hit a control return here and see what I get. Now it didn't like the cross there so it's not going to have a problem. I'm going to go back. It's already back to there. I go here, go back, open bracket, closes them. Now once again I think if I hit a shift return I get the output of 430. So I've added up the vectors that easily. So in other words, you can, you know, the, the, the calculator program does this a little bit more cumbersome, but by assigning variables and actually lists to things, you can do all the cross products. Of course, you can also add up if you would. We can do that perhaps. We can now add to this. Well, that is the, the y vector is there, but in the end, we might want to have added something here. Well, what do we add up? We want to add up v plus b. So we can say, I guess, z equals v plus b. And we have, to, of course, to tell it we're done with the sentence there by using a semicolon. Hit this here. Now we hit shift enter and we have both. And I think what we want to do at the end of each of these is probably print y and then print z. and hit a control here and that's not what I want but that's close so let's see how this all produced that is Mathematica we'll close out Mathematica don't save we're going to go ahead and stop